To use the transactional outbox pattern in our system, we are going to need to create an outbox table. The first step when creating your outbox table is to choose a name for the table. The obvious answer would be to name it outbox. However, the name outbox reflects how the table will be used rather than what data it contains. Remember, there are many ways we might want to use this data. Naming it events better reflects what the data is. We are then free to use it however we want. Once we have decided on the name of our table, the next step is to determine what data it should contain. At a minimum, it should probably contain a unique identifier for each individual event, probably in the form of a UUID, a timestamp representing the time that the event occurred. You probably want to store this in UTC time. The event type, so that any downstream consumers will know how to deserialize the event. And finally, the event data stored in a serialized form such as JSON. In addition to the basic set of columns, there is other data you might want to consider storing. You might consider including a way to identify who published the event. As your system grows, you may lose track of where the events are coming from. Tracking the publisher will help you trace the events back to their source. As you chain more events together, tracing the flow across the system will get difficult. A correlation ID can help here. This is a reference in one event to the previous event that triggered it. A common anti-pattern, on the other hand, is to include an offset, usually a monotonically increasing number, that is used to determine an absolute order of events. Be aware that in a distributed system, absolute order is often impossible to guarantee. It also creates a lot of contention when emitting or processing events. Once we have determined the name of the table and the columns it should contain, we're ready to create it. The final step is to write and execute the SQL statement that will create the table in CockroachDB. This is an example of what that SQL statement might look like. With your outbox table in place, you're now ready to begin emitting events.